today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do this ribbon flower with lace trim. Okay, so for this tutorial you will need a length of ribbon, some lace, a felt circle, a clip, a gem for the centre, a needle and thread, a lighter, some scissors and a glue gun. So first of all you want to heat seal both ends of your ribbon. And then you want to take your felt circle and your ribbon and for this I'm going to fold my ribbon in half but I'm just going to apply a little dab of glue just to keep it in place. It doesn't need to be a lot and it also doesn't need to be very accurate with where you place your ribbon. And then I'm just going to do that again, apply a little bit more glue. Just fold that end piece in. Now once I've done that, I'm going to give my ribbon a bit of a twist. Now this part doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, none of it does. And I'm just going to squeeze that in together. Just like that. There we go. And that will be my centre of my flower. Now I'm just going to take the rest of this ribbon and I'm just going to twist it round. Keep that twisted. And now I'm going to apply glue to the centre of my felt circle. And I'm just going to push down this first bit, apply a bit more glue, the first bit that we made, I'm just going to push that down in the centre. And now I'm going to apply some glue. Twist it and apply glue all of the way around. And what you want to do is layer it up. Keep twisting and sticking down until you end up with something like that. So I'm just going to show you how I stick it all down. I'm just going to whack my glue around, keeping my twists and pushing down. Apply some more glue, again twist and push down. And the beauty of this type of flower is there's no wrong or right way to do it. You just do it as you want. Because at the end of the day, you're the one that's making it and probably wearing it. Be careful of the glue as it seeps out of the sides because it is hot, as you can see by all of it that's sticking to my fingers.
just keep twisting that round until you get to the end or until you want to cut any excess ribbon off. When you do get to the end or when you cut some a ribbon off, you just want to make sure that you leave enough to push round to the back. I'll show you that shortly. Now I'm just going to take this bit and I'm just going to glue that down to the back. Like I said, just be careful of any hot glue because it does squeeze out of the sides. Push that down. And now at the front, you can wait for your glue to dry and then just pick off any of the excess strands that are stuck around. And there is the basis of your centre. So now what you want to do is take your needle and thread and your lace and just quickly sew along the bottom of your lace. Let's just quickly measure that, what I've just quickly sewn. I'm going to measure that around the back. And I think I need just a little bit more. So I'm just going to do a bit more along there. And then I'm going to cut off the excess. And then I'm just going to knot off this end like that and there we go that is what will be stuck to the back like this so you just want to apply your glue around stick your lace down. Again, be careful with the glue and just make sure that from the front it all looks the same. Then what you want to do, removing any glue from your fingers and picking off any last bits that you can see on the front. You want to take your gem, apply some glue and pop that in the centre. Just like that. Then you want to apply some glue to the back. And push your clip into place. And there you go. Your flower and lace head bow. Now you could also use two of these and attach them to a headband or um, onto a hairband, it's completely up to you. 
Thank you ever so much for watching guys, I really hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel and I shall be back again soon for more. Bye guys!